All right, we're just having a conversation with a gentleman who uh, cuts my hair, Reagan from uh, Swag House, and we will be doing a post later because he also was a patient of Cassie's and healed one of those impossible autoimmune conditions that are impossible to heal, that even from the naturopathic functional integrative side of things aren't touching. Um, but they managed to do it together, imagine that. Uh, but we started talking about, um, he brought up a good point, <clears throat> something I've noticed in being involved in this profession and this sector of things for 21 years is I saw the, the d degeneration you would normally see, call coming from the same cause, in a 50, 60, 70 year old, you would see it in 40 year olds. Then you'd see it in 30 year olds. This is over time. Then you started to see it now in 20 year olds. Now you're seeing it in children. And then you go ahead and you experience during this time, you experience the swelling, inflammation, pain. You experience the tearing of certain tissues that aren't designed to absorb force, like cartilage, meniscus, ligaments. Um, or you've, there's tendon responses or there's stress fractures because we've mitigated all these things with passive treatments like chiropractic, acupuncture, Reiki, essential oils, ice therapies, um, TAT, TRT, MAT, uh, ART, all the T's. Um, but the scary thing was these conditions that you would see over the course of what everybody would say, the wear and tear of life, you're now seeing in people who haven't lived life of any level. Um, and when you go to get these things checked out, they will just simply put in just this flippant way, we'll just go get that cut out or just go get that, you know, fixed. We'll just, we'll just go cut out that meniscus. We'll go cut out that. We'll go take out this. I mean, they're even doing it. We'll just take out your appendix. We'll take out your gallbladder. We'll take out your thyroid. When you have it taken out, it's gone. It's gone forever. Um, something you were born with, something that is essential to you. Uh, um, tonsils, essential. Appendix, essential. Gallbladder, essential. Thyroid, essential. Meniscus, essential. Cartilage, essential. Ligaments, essential. There is no tissue you're born with. There's just this extra that doesn't serve a purpose. All of it is. Um, so the stress of this video is understanding the cause of why degeneration would happen in the first place. And it's multifactorial, but the bottom line, your body's inability to manage the forces that you're encountering in your life across the board. Um, and we're not really living these high lives. Like, like things are more automated. Things are, we're being less challenged, uh, physically, emotionally, mentally, intellectually, spiritually. Like we don't have, uh, everything's a convenience. Everything is softened. Everything is nerfed. Everything is protected. We're not, we're not thriving in this really active life or these really risky, adventurous scenarios. We're not doing any of that. Everything's virtual, everything's online, everything, and that's fine too, but you gotta understand that if you're choosing that life, you have to prepare for a level greater than that life. And so we've become so inhuman that the body would heal itself with when there's damage occurred for an inability to be prepared for your environment. And that damage will be observed as a degenerative condition or as a um, as torn tissue in a degenerative state, like a wear and tear that they'll deliver, wear and tear in the cartilage, wear and tear in the meniscus, wear and tear in the joint. Only instead of in the 80 year old, it's in a 20 year old or now in 10, 10 to 15 year olds. Um, so we're not doing well. Uh, and their solution, I've said this before, you have two choices. I even say this in, in Zoom appointments. I said, you have two choices. When this occurs and your body tries to get your attention and let you know that you need to make some major changes and prepare yourself before you go outside, prepare yourself for this life you, you are exposing your system to, or you prepare yourself to a level greater than what life's gonna demand, that's, that's one choice. The other, make your life really soft and not demanding. And that's another one. Like, that's the solution outside of, why I know that's, that's not <laughs> the human way, it is a choice and you can't get upset at somebody's choice unless they're complaining and talking about it. Then it's shut the fuck up. You chose this, stay that route and go keep choosing that if it works. But we have this, this place 
in where when we experience these things, we try to buy the pair of shoes that are gonna save us. We try to walk on the most level of ground that's gonna protect us because it won't demand a lot. Um, instead of using a bike, we use a recumbent bike. Or instead of a treadmill that you've chosen, you choose a pool. Um, you wear a brace, you wear tape on KT tape or taping of some kind to block the pain response to activate muscle that gets shut down because of pain as if there was some problem with what the body was doing to protect you in the first place. But a functional neurologist and these posers will go ahead and spin it some way to tell you why you need to wear that tape, why that's essential to you. Um, but we go ahead and try to nerf our life to protect an inadequate system. Not inadequate because it's just flawed, inadequate because it hasn't been challenged and then gets dumped into an environment where it needs the challenge to prepare for it. We don't do that. And you're seeing it in the NFL. I didn't, I don't follow sports much these days because it's just, it's embarrassing. Um, but the NFL with these pads over the helmets, <laughs> it's like how much more padding can you do to try to cut down on CTEs and, oh, you're saying CTEs and brain injuries aren't a big deal. That's not even close to what I'm saying. I'm saying that padding the helmets more won't do a damn thing. If anything, it's gonna make everything worse, as we've seen. But instead of preparing the body to be more resilient to force, because when you get hit, force is gonna ripple from the helmet or from the shoulders, down through the feet, down to the hands, and if it goes in excess to somewhere it's not prepared, there's gonna be a healing response called swelling, inflammation, and pain, and that's gonna that's gonna express just like it would in an ankle, only it's in the brain. Oh, these are serious things. These people are depressed and killing themselves and killing. I get it, but the solution to the reason it was happening in the first place is not to go ahead and pad everything. They were even thinking of, that will make the person even far less prepared, far more susceptible to damage when they're encountering in that environment, far more susceptible to the healing response, which is the body. And then they wanna medicate them and do the treatments that, that come along with it, um, or even pitch that chiropractic would somehow have an effect. And that whole uh, lie. Um, so, this just doesn't make any sense. And we see it even in baseball. They wanted to change the weight of the baseball or change the distance of the mount. Like it's change all these things outside of you instead of, it's the same thing with EMFs. Everybody's freaking out about EMFs. Are EMFs good? They're here. <laughs> Did people thrive when they exposed themselves to radio waves back in the day? Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and look at what people did better as we're being exposed to this, or be terrified of every tower that's in your neighborhood, of every tower that's going up, be so frightened of all those things and go ahead and paint and try to protect your entire environment instead of looking at you, the individual, and what could you do to turn those EMFs or turn those inputs that were normally uh, a scenario that would break you down, turn them into something that would enhance you. I wonder if that's possible. It's happened before, why not now? But that's the way we look at things. We look at those two choices. Soften, convenient, nerf, protect, pave, keep everything still and protect it so that the person being involved in that environment no longer is demanded upon. Or go within, look to the individual, see where we can improve every inch of our life, elevate the system to a level greater than anything you've ever encountered before, body heals. Every injury, every response, every healing response is an opportunity to level up. It is guidance. Doing these treatments, doing more of this stuff is not working. And that's another thing. It's like, what's the majority choosing to do? Okay, we already know. That's what I'm speaking out against. And we're continually declining. So it, it hasn't gotten any better. And I think seven years ago, I made a video where was the degenerative conditions were coming down. Even when I posted the, the published the book, it was degenerative conditions are going down now into teenagers and we're seeing them in sports. So we're no better. I've said this before. Um, of the two options you have when you experience an inadequacy of your being prepared for your environment, you can Never go into the environment again, which is your choice, or, or protect yourself from that environment as much as possible, or 
go ahead and put yourself in a position to be able to adapt to whatever the environment is going to pose to you, whether it's mold, whether it's uh, forces from activities like walking and climbing and sprinting and swimming and dancing and loving and all these other things, or to the emotional state that you're going to encounter when you laugh really hard or cry really hard. Um, but whatever it is, we're not doing well. And so uh, it's one of those things that even in Zoom appointments, give me the list of everything you've been doing, whatever you've just listed, we have to be able to state it's not working. So if we do the exact opposite of all that list that you just said right there, should be pretty good. Turns out the opposite of the list are principles and principles always work. There's no negotiating, there's no except for us. Body only knows one thing heal and adapt 100% moving forward. You either get in its way and make it look like it's slowed down or it's attacking itself or it's perverted or dysfunctional or retarded or whatever the thing is, or you get out of its way, help it. Getting out of its way is number one. It's just going to happen. The second thing is helping it. And when you go get out of its way, it's this. When you help it, it's this. <laughs> when you get in its way, it's this. When you really antagonize it, it's this, which which graph are you? All right, Reagan's pictures to come. Guy's a badass. Badass when it comes to hair. Badass individual. Badass story. Badass healing story.